In this video, we see how an attacker can bypass web application access control by exploiting SSRF vulnerability to access the admin panel and then delete a user. For this exercise, we use the Web Security Academy labs and this is the first SSRF lab called Basic SSRF against a local server. You can find the link to this lab in the description. Let's go ahead and start the lab by clicking on access the lab. In order to solve this lab, we need to find a way to access the admin panel and then delete user callers. First, let's try to see if we can access the admin page by directly browsing to it. So I'll go to the address bar and add slash admin at the end of URL and press enter. In burp, we see the HTTP request to access admin page. Let's forward this request. The application returns 401 HTTP response code, which means the web application has refused to complete the request and provide us access to admin page, indicating the lack of valid credentials. I'll turn the intercept off and I'll go back to the web browser. Looking at the message in the browser, we see the admin interface is only available to admin users or if requested from the loopback. Since we are not an admin user, we need to find a way to submit the HTTP request to access this page from loopback network interface. I'll go back to the home page and then click on view details on one of the products. At the bottom of the page, I'll choose an item from the drop down menu and then click on check stock. Looking at the request in Burp, we can see that it contains a parameter called stock API and its value is a URL to an internal system. Since the stock API parameter accepts URL as its value, let's see what happens if we remove its current value and replace it with localhost forward slash admin. This new URL is asking the web application to make an HTTP request to the server that is hosting the application and fetch the contents of admin page. Let's forward this request. We get 200 HTTP response code. So the request was completed by the application. By inspecting the HTTP response, we can see that the application has returned the contents of the admin panel. Looking further down, we can also see the URL to delete user callers. I'll copy this URL and I will use it in the next step. Let's turn the intercept off and go back to the browser. We can see the admin panel at the bottom of the page. So we have completed the first step and have managed to get access to admin interface. In order to solve this lab, we need to delete user callers. Although we have now access to admin panel and we can see the list of users, we won't be able to delete the user by clicking on delete. Since we are not logged in as an admin, if we attempt to directly perform any admin actions, the application access control would refuse to complete the request due to the lack of admin privilege. We have already seen the application behavior when we try to directly browse to admin page. So far we know the stock API is vulnerable to SSRF. So if we replace its value with the correct URL to delete a user, then we should be able to bypass application access control and delete user callers, just the same way that we managed to get access to admin panel. Okay, let's go ahead and click on check stock again and capture the request in burp. This time, we replace the stock API value with the URL that we found earlier to delete user callers. This URL is asking the application to make an HTTP request to the application server and delete user callers. Okay, let's go ahead and forward the request. As we can see, we have now successfully solved the lab. Let's access the admin panel one more time by clicking on check stock. In burp, replace the stock API with localhost forward slash admin and forward the request. Looking at the admin panel in web browser, we can see that the user callers no longer exist. In this lab, we saw how an attacker could exploit SSRF vulnerability on a web application to bypass access control and perform sensitive actions such as accessing admin interface and deleting a user. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next videos.